Hey there folks, how you doing? Hopefully the snow finds you somewhere warm and safe. But if you want to get outside, get out to the water. Well, here's a jacket for you I want to highly recommend. So this one came courtesy of Dubu. I've taken it out a few times now, out on the water, out on land, out back. <laughs> so I feel like I can kind of vouch for at least a few of the aspects of it right now. So I'm going to run you through the jacket. We'll go from there. So first things first, you're going to have your on button right here. I'm going to come up a little bit closer so you can see it. I'm going to turn this completely off, because right now I have it on the lowest setting. Now the jacket itself has a battery pouch internal to it. That battery is right in here, and you can see when it's turned on, it has a digital indicator on here. It tells you exactly what percentage charge that battery is at. It fits neatly into that little pouch just inside. Zip it up and close this up. And now I should be able to show you exactly what it looks like when it turns on. So to turn it on, you press and hold. It's harder to see out here, but I'll show you inside as well. So you can see the indicator lights much more clearly, but this is on a red right now. Red is the highest setting. On red, you're talking about 140 degrees for that extreme cold, but it's also going to burn through your battery fastest. At that point, you're looking at about three and a half to four hours of battery life. Click it one more time. And that's going to take you to blue. That shows up a little bit better on the camera here. Blue is your medium setting. It's about 120, 125 degrees. And on that setting, you got about five or six hours of battery life. And lastly, the one that I've been using the most is on the green setting. I think green shows up best here for you. On the green setting, you're a little over 100 degrees. And at that point, you're going to hover around between nine to 10 hours of battery life. That's what I used when I was out there on the water with Tommy Tech, Rashawn, my buddy Jason, Legion of Anglers out there chasing some winter striper. That's a great employment for this jacket is out there on the boat for those kind of days. Now this is just the jacket right here too. I'll make that note. They also have gloves, pants, the whole ensemble. So you can check those out online. But let's keep running through the jacket while we're here. So I already went through the different button settings you have in here and the battery life. Aside from that, you have multiple pockets all over the jacket. You have one on each sleeve, along with a Velcro pouch, so you can go ahead and outfit that as you will. Reminds me of my days back wearing the ACUs in the military. And that's when you had all the Velcro patches you could take on and take off as you needed to. You also have pockets along the wrist here. And in terms of where to put your hands, it sits kind of high on your chest, which I like. And again, it kind of reminds me of wearing my flak vest back when I was in the military in terms of the level your hands actually sit at. Then if you want to tighten up along the bottom to really keep that air out, which was really handy when I was out there on the boat, zooming around on the bay with my Legion of Angler brothers. So you can adjust these, make this nice and tight along your waist to make sure you're not feeling any of those drafts out there when you're on the water. And also to keep that draft out, you have adjustable wrist straps right here on the side to go ahead, tighten that up. And again, keep that air from getting penetration on you when you're out there on the water or anywhere you're going to be encountering a breeze. I've went through, I've used it on the water. It's got five different panels for heating. I'll illustrate those probably with an overlay here on the camera. And aside from that, I got to say so far, I'm pretty happy with it, man. It's nice to be able to have something else besides your body to generate heat when you're out there on the water, when you're out there in the woods or just outside in an actual winter, which is interesting to see. We actually finally got some snow up here in Maryland. It's been a while. But yeah, this is the Dubu heated jacket, y'all. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. So far, I'm very happy with the performance. So thanks to Dubu for sending me one to check out. You got any questions? Let me know in the comments section. Y'all have a good one.